we have done it. We have hit 100 subs. Okay, right, so, um, I did promise to do a thumbnail tutorial, because over my three or so months of doing YouTube, quite a few people have actually asked how I make my thumbnails, so today I will be showing you guys. Um, if you actually genuinely want to learn something, I would recommend staying until the end, because it's, it's pretty informative, I'd, I've got to say that. But anyway, uh, without further ado, thank you so much everyone once again, and enjoy this video. Right, so just a couple of things before I get going. Um, this tutorial, it's more of just to show you guys a general idea of how I make my thumbnails, rather than specific examples of like how to add an outline or something. I will be going over that, but not in so much detail, because there's a lot of YouTube videos um, for whichever software you use to go over all those different specific things, so it's more of a general idea of how I make mine. Uh, secondly, I actually started learning my thumbnails from um, Sammy Green's tutorial, so I will probably link that in the description. So go watch that if you want probably a better tutorial than this. And also Turtles did a thumbnail tutorial too, so uh, took some tips from that as well, so that might also be linked. And lastly, um, the most important thing about making, about watching this is uh, it's just to give you a general idea of how I make mine, like everyone needs to make their own, like, unique, uh, with their own sort of twists on it, so that's what I did, and, um, it's probably better that you do that rather than copying exactly what I do, because you'll end up with a good thumbnail at the end. But anyway, uh, let's get right into it. Okay, so the first stage, you're gonna want to get on, like, a Minecraft world, and probably, if you don't know how to get one of these map downloads, probably look up a video because it's a bit long to put in this video but basically get on any map which you like which maybe suits the video you're doing and uh load up probably bad Lion or forge because for the sort of thumbnail which i'm going to do today uh, we're going to be using replay mod because um, in general they make it look a lot better rather than just using free look or something to get your character so what you're going to want to do is try and get the sort of base background layer of um, your thumbnail where you got your character and you've got like a sky in the background so we're not going to be needing this sky uh, so what we're going to do is go to options video settings quad note before note det yeah details and go custom sky off because uh, we're going to want a fairly plain background so that we can just cut out the foreground um, I hope this is making sense, I'm not very good at tutorials, but basically, um, to get a screenshot, we're going to eventually press start recording, but what you're going to want to do is try and just run around for a bit, um, maybe put some armor on or something, and hold a sword and just swing it around, uh, and then record all that, because then what's going to happen, you're going to go into the replay mod, and then try and pick a frame where you're in a nice position, and it'll be able to picture you, swinging your sword or something because that's what a lot of people have in their thumbnails um so let me just put some armor on be right back all right boys so now we have some armor on if you're using forge i don't know how to use that but uh use replay mod as i said watch another video on that so let's press start recording and what we're going to want to do if we want this to be our sort of backdrop then we're just going to want to sort of run around in front of it swinging our sword a bit until we get um good sort of picture in the replay mod um, so what it's quite good to do is just like sort of when you run you flick your head to the left to be like that uh, Mid-air and then also swing your sword at the same time. That's what I usually do uh, You'll see the end product in a bit and if you're not happy with the frame then just re redo the replay It's important to get a very good um, frame because it, it will just look better and now we can press stop recording and Press save and quit, go to replay viewer, and then access your replay. This is if you're on bad line. Otherwise, access the replay. And then as we can see, this is our backdrop. What we're quickly going to do is change our render distance right down because we don't really want anything in the background. So let's just play this. Press P to play on the bad line. Um, and we're also, we're also going to want to change our FOV all the way down because this is how it looks a lot more sort of professional you always want to have a low fov if you're taking any in-game screenshots for thumbnails it's just it's just how it works uh, and you can also get rid of this so you can get a nice um look at it and just press p until you get like a nice nice frame like this is already pretty good uh you can see that i'm swinging the sword I've got a nice shadow there um so i mean this would probably do 
You want to make sure the character's like as big as possible, really. Uh, yeah, I mean, that that takes quicker than it normally does. I reckon that's uh, not a bad background. So if you just take a screenshot, press F2. Uh, boom, we've got that. Now to access the screenshot, we're just going to head quickly back into there. And then uh, here we go. It says screenshot. So then open this. And what you're going to want to do is save it anywhere, probably like you might want to make a folder for all your screenshots because I've made I've made a lot of them so you need to get organized but yeah just save that as something and then we'll come back just once I've saved it right so we've just taken that screenshot and now what we're going to, want to do is actually change everything back up to normal custom sky on there we're chilling and now what we're going to want to do is just take one like screenshot okay good frame rate not frame rate, render distance. And we're basically just going to want to like look into the sky. So this sky like it's good, but it's not really the thing which I'm looking for. So we're going to use the default sky, which literally everyone uses. Um, clouds and planets. So we're going to apply this. And then basically this is going to be the sky background. Uh, and we're going to probably blur it. So let's go here. Turn our FOV down again. This just makes it look a lot more cinematic, you know. And just basically pick anywhere which you like. Uh, that planet's quite cool, so we'll we'll probably look over here. Um, also, imagine your previous uh, screenshot sort of on top of this. Uh, so imagine where there are gaps, because I know that there's like a iceberg around there, and my characters around here. So I reckon this will be good. So then once again, take a screenshot. Boom. You can actually change this back. And once again, save the screenshot to wherever you want. Keep that in mind. Right, so that's actually everything you're going to be doing in-game. So now we're going to head over to your um, editing software program, thumbnail making, whatever. You might use Photoshop, you might use GIMP like me. Or you could just use, like, Paint.net or something like that. Whatever works for you. Uh, but let's just hop over into that. So today I'm actually going to be using GIMP because it's free and it's a pretty good program. But you can use Photoshop, Paint.net, whatever you want. Um, but what I'm going to be trying to tell you guys is the main ideas behind how I go through the process of making my thumbnail rather than the specifics uh, the techniques on like how to do um, maybe like an outline or something I will go through that but not in much detail because uh, there's plenty of tutorials which you guys can actually go watch if you want the specifics but yeah I'm just trying to convey the main um, theories of this just quickly what I didn't mention is that you need to have the dimensions 1280 by 720 for your uh, thumbnail because that's what YouTube needs it and if you do it anything else there'll be like black bars around the edge which isn't very nice so just remember that 1280 by 720 is what you want your thumbnail size to be right so what you're gonna want to do first is open up the image which you took with your play on it right so now that you have this here uh, what we're gonna want to do is actually remove this light blue of the background because that's a really bad sky we're gonna want a nice colorful sky which we took a screenshot of earlier so however you guys want to do it I'm gonna use the lasso tool uh, but basically just try and get rid of this blue in some way to leave this foreground with just clear behind it um, so I'm gonna quickly do that and I'll be right back once I finish with it but actually we have just about finished cutting all of this out so what I do is on GIMP if you're using the same I just do edit cut and then I do edit paste and then you get a pasted layer so you just go to new layer to get this as its own layer and then you go here and you just delete the background and look at that let me just quickly cut out this bit here because you want to try and get as many parts out of the photo as possible uh, clear boom right so let's just go select none this is uh, the product of what you've done so far. This is a foreground. And now what you're going to want to do is probably um, cut the player out as another layer. Um, and to do this, you're basically just going to want to select anywhere in this area or wherever. And then just go around uh, the like bottom part of the layer. Um, not really sure how you want to do this. But in some way, cut out your player because we're going to be adding like a drop shadow and that sort of stuff. Uh, 
Oh yeah, we don't actually need to go around here because this is basically already cut out from the background. So just go up to where it connects with the visible like layer here and then you can basically just go anywhere around here to separate it from the rest of the image. That might cut it off. But yeah, just go anywhere really avoiding this main part and then just do the same thing. Edit, cut, edit, paste, boom. So you have this other layer, do the same thing, go to new layer. Now you have two separate layers, which is kind of cool. Um, next, what you're going to want to do is actually get out that sky screenshot, which you got from before. Just open that as another layer, and I'll be right back once I have that in place. Boom, so we have this here. It looks like this is at the top, so you're going to want to drag that all the way to the bottom. And already, look, that's looking like a nice uh, thumbnail, but we, we have much to do, my friend, because we need to add blur and stuff. Um, and probably text, but we'll do the text at the very end. First thing I like to do once I have all the layers in place is actually change the colours up a bit. For example, um, this is a bit of kind of a bland uh, setting here. It's like ice and blue and white. Not not the most stuff, but look at my character. So if you have like a character with skin on it, what you're going to want to do is sort of go uh, in some way, go to colours and then basically go to saturation. That's in basically all editing programs, don't worry about that, you'll find it somehow. And just up that a little so you get a brighter figure. Um, so look, that basically just, it goes black and white and they're very bright, but we, we, we don't want to do that. We want, uh, if one's usual, we want somewhere around here. So it's looking nice and vibrant. Um, you might want to do it on the on this um, ice and the this background. I'll just have a look if that makes any difference. Saturation. Oh yeah, I mean, that makes it look like a lot bluer, but then again, we want it to still uh, look like a background. You don't want it to draw the eye too much. Right, so now we've changed the colours of that, we're probably going to try and add some blur to the background. So first of all, if we take our sky, um, we're going to, this is like, it's got a lot going on here in this particular sky overlay. And what you want to do is somehow go to filters and go like a certain blur. So what I'm going to use is actually a zoom motion blur. So what it's going to do is zoom in to a point in the in the main uh, picture, and it adds a pretty cool effect. And then you just want to change where it centers to. I'd probably do it to my character, sort of in the middle of my character. So it sort of looks like everything zoomed into my character. I say character a lot then, ignore me. Right, so that's what you want to do for the sky background, blur it a little like that, looking good. And then for this background, you probably want to just keep it as it is, I'd say. However, um, it's it's sort of like everything's just sort of not really standing out much. So a very important tool which I like to use is using like a drop shadow. But we're going to want to an outline on the character. So what we're going to want to do is go out to selection in some way, just get the main actual outline of here, and then go and grow it somehow. So because this is how you basically add an outline, which is effectively what we're doing, and then just blurring the outline. So I'm going to enlarge this by around 8 pixels, and here's what it's going to do. You're going to want to go on the layer beneath it and create a new layer so that you have a layer underneath the thing which you want the outline for. And then go to some sort of bucket tool, get a black colour, and basically just boom, hit it on there somewhere. And then go back, select none, and you have this nice outline. But you see that doesn't look the best, so what we're going to want to do is right click this and actually add a Gaussian blur. So then what this is going to do is add a nice outline to this if it's going to update. Oh yeah, here we go. So we want sort of enough to not look like just a standard line. Um, but we want it to blur enough. Yeah, that looks decent, but actually what I've decided, I want a better, I want a thicker line, right? So uh, I'm actually going to get rid of this. We're going to actually grow this probably by 10 now. Uh, I think that might look better. Maybe even 11. Let's be generous. Uh, do the same thing. We want to create a new layer. And we want to get the bucket tool and fill this in. Get rid of that. And now we want to go and repeat the blur. So, there. That's looking a lot better already. Boom. Boom. We have um, some sort of uh, outline on the figure, which is good. It makes it stand out more. I need some way to sort of make this background 
uh, stay sort of apart from the sky because if you look here it, I did a pretty bad job of cutting it out but I would like to add some sort of outline or anything so what we're going to try to do let's just play around a bit because you want to see what works but I'm going to do a similar thing that I did to the player and just go select grow I'm going to grow this by seven it doesn't really matter how much and then just do the same thing you create a layer underneath you get the bucket you fill it in you go select none and now we have a nice black outline and we go and now add blur to it Gaussian blur there nice so that is looking already a lot better so now we can see uh, actually what you can also do is just merge these layers so you get it as a whole thing um, combined with the background combined with the uh, outline or whatever you want to call it but that is already looking pretty nice uh, and now I think all that we have left for like this style of thumbnail you can put your own spin on it so just change what you want um, but for this we're just going to want text um, probably saying like thumbnail or something uh, I don't want to copy Sammy Green's one because he did like how to but you want some form of text so for my one I'm going to go basically onto Google let's go so basically I use the website flaming text if I can spell um, it's what Sammy Green used in his thumbnail tutorial and yeah uh, here's you can get good logo designs and stuff all that sort of stuff right so then just click on this default thing here and edit the logo so um, basically the font which I use in pretty much all my thumbnails is called luckiest guy yeah same one which Sammy Green uses because I mean it's a pretty nice thumbnail um, just change your text to whatever you want so I'll probably do um, thumbnail but then again we want it basically to fit next to this character so we sort of want two lines so my genius is saying we go and we do thumb listen up the, okay hear me out hear me out this is gonna work uh, and you're gonna want to thumb right cool and then we go into the logo part here and we don't want this white outline so we just make that go down to zero boom looking nice um, that's pretty much it and now we want to just change the color to something which fits so we've got sort of a blue theme here so I'm gonna go for a sort of dark blue color uh, if we just go like here that'll probably do uh, we can make it a bit lighter because we want it to be able to like stand out and now we just sort of compare that to to here let's just go yeah that's probably good and uh, now what we want to go to is go shadow background make a transparent background this is ideal you need transparent and then go next um, then what you're gonna want to do is actually just save this image uh, as wherever and I'll do that and then be back boom so I've saved that I'm gonna open that again in here so it actually came in pretty small here we're gonna move it to the very top because we want it as the top layer and we want to just make it sort of as big as we can uh, without it interfering much um, and what I'd like to do is put it on a sort of angle so I just sort of rotate it here uh, maybe like that not majorly rotated but that should be good what happens if we put it below here nah we want it to be on top and then just sort of move it around until you get something which looks good thumb and now you're thinking what am I doing it, it says thumb but now nah, hear me out look at this we're gonna go back to edit text and we got the exact same like preset it's all it's all blue and the right stuff so then we just go nail easy yes boys nail easy look look at that no absolutely no sweat uh it's got everything pre-done so we're just gonna want to actually make sure oh yeah i forgot to say try and make the font as large as possible because it'll be like higher definition i'm pretty sure and then we have nail pog i could also have written like 100 subs on this something like this something, something like 100 subs just do whatever suits the video the best whatever suits your video just do that but boom uh, see which looks good. That's probably all right. I don't know. That's 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 like decent thumbnail. That's that's not bad at all. 
Um, I'll probably still use it for for this video. You'll probably have seen it once already. But um, to be honest, just try and do what do what looks good for you. I mean, just just look away from the um, from your computer for a second, and then look back and see if you could imagine this on like uh, a YouTube page. Like, just, just make it the same size, which it normally would be. And if it stands out, if you can read the text, if you know what it's about, then you've done a good job. Uh, and I can with this. It's just the blue could be better. It could be a better color. But um, you know what? That's that's fine for now. But that is pretty much all I do. And now you've got a sick looking thumbnail like this. Make sure to save it. Don't want to lose this. But yeah, nice. Thank you for making it to the end. We've, we've got a pretty good product out of this. And I hope I explained most of this stuff, like, well, hopefully. I hope you've learned something about how you can improve your thumbnails already. I wonder how many times I've said thumbnail in this video. Probably a lot. Anyway, I um, hope you've taken something from this. Try and improve yours. But as I said, don't completely copy my style. Um, everyone has their own sort of uh, speciality, you could say. Um, but this is mine, and I hope that you enjoyed, and for now, I'm just going to say, uh, goodbye.